Like a river I've been running ever since. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's been a long
Isaiah 41. I've been through it all. Yeah. And I'm 
telling you what God is about to do in this. Because everything you go through is purposed by God. Y'all yeah. say this with me. Say purposed by God. Yeah. Now, now, nothing strange is going on in your life. Yeah. This is strategically yeah. purposed by God. Yeah. And see, he look, look at this. God could have had this conversation about anybody. Mm -hmm. But it was particularly Job. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. When Job, watch this. He, he wasn't just tested. Uh, Y'all got to catch this. Job was considered. Yeah. 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 But yeah. who considered him? Yeah. See, the devil didn't go, no. He pointed Job out. Do you consider my servant Job? Y'all yeah. yeah. got to catch that. Yeah. You know, because the devil was not happy that you, yeah. you consider my servant Job. God to feel about me. Amen. When the devil comes, you consider my servant. Oh, well, let me help out. You consider him? Because God knows that I'm going to stay in the chest. Whatever happens, I'm going to hang in there. And that's why Job hung in there. He knew Job was going to hang in. He said, now listen, you can get, you can take everything. But don't touch, don't, don't. Don't touch the soul. Don't touch the soul. Don't mind, right? Because see, the devil says you got everything heads in. Yeah, move the heads and watch what I'm doing. But God was still saying you consider. Right? Yeah. And I'm, I'm using Job because if you follow that whole uh, parable with Job in that sentence, you will see that he wasn't scared. No. No. And then he didn't lose his balance when he started losing his stuff. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. remember, when he lost half his stuff, he didn't even know it was gone. No. And see, this is a good point right here. You need to stop paying more attention to your stuff. Yeah. And keep your eyes on God. So Joe finally did it. They knocking on his door. Joe, you know you lost this. And he said, I did. <laughs> he came back. Joe, you know that your kids are out there? Yeah. Hey, the wife doing all this stuff with Job. I mean, you need to curse God. Are you for real? Yeah. Don't eat. And this is why he was considered. Yeah. Now my question is, if you lose all your stuff, will you say the same thing? Yeah. 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 That's a good question. If you go home and it's, and it's on fire, all your clothes and shoes and all your goods is gone. Will you say the same thing?
the more you are afraid of what you're going through, yeah. there's no good news coming out. Yeah. Come, on, come, on. come on, come on. Look, what I got you in Joshua. Yes. Look, look what he told Joshua in chapter 1, verse 9. Three, three verse 9. Watch this, y'all. Verse 9 says it like this. Have not I Have not I what? Have not I, I commanded. Who commanded it? God. God did what? Have not I commanded Commanded thee, thee what? Be strong. Be strong. And of good courage. Good courage. Be not afraid. Don't be scared. Neither be thou dismayed. Don't be dismayed. For the Lord, thy God, is with thee whatever so thou go. Yeah. Did you say that the Lord is going to be with us? Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. So don't be scared. Stand out. Be of good courage. Mm -hmm. yeah. Be strong. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because the Lord is where? With us. With us. So if he's with you, ah. why are you in fear mm -hmm. of what you need from God? Mm -hmm. See, the only way you don't get it from him is if you show that you don't trust him. Yeah. 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 And when you don't trust him, you're scared of what you're going through. Right. See, you got to pick your big head up and say, Lord, yeah. this is you. Yeah. <laughs> so why would I be scared if he's with me? Yeah. Romans, I've got your Romans, right? Oh. Eight. Eight. Eight, right? Uh -huh. And this is why you ain't got no words. You can 31. Speak on. 31. Watch this. 8 and 31, Romans. What shall we then say? What do we say then? Yeah. If God be for us, stop. Stop. I need everybody to get a thing in front of you right now. Whatever you feel you're going through, that it seems like it is burning you and got you way down, I need you to put it in front of you right now. Matter of fact, grab it in your hand. See, I got some. Everybody in here should have some. Hold it right in front of you. Now, she going to read this. Now, you got to understand it. It's right in front of me. Yeah. Read it again. What shall we then what say? What do I say now about this stuff? If God be for us. If God is with me. Who can be against us? Now, y'all release it real quick. Release it. Amen. Push it away. That's your go. What, what he's saying is, it's what you say to that thing. Yeah. It's going to make a difference to your outcome. Yeah. If you believe it ain't going to go nowhere, it ain't going nowhere. Yeah. But if you talk to that thing like it's nothing but a thing. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all want to talk to your ex friend, you need to talk to the devil friend. Yeah. You ready to cuss them out, tell them anything? Don't you ever call me? Tell the devil, please. Yeah. Take that thing and say, what I must say to this thing. If God is for me, who can be against me? Right. Tell somebody, I ain't got no worries. I ain't got no worries. See, some of y'all can't say that because you're worried right now. Say it right now. Say, I ain't got no worries. I ain't got no worries. Can I give y'all some more good news? Yeah. Do the rhyme. You there? Yeah. Okay. Deuteronomy chapter 31. Go to verse 6 and read it. Stand up and read it. Realize this one I need y'all to get. You got to write this down. But you need this one. This is some good news. 31 and 6. Come on. Deuteronomy 31 and 6. You can't find it. You can't find it. Okay, we're going to find it. Buy another one, somebody. Come on, Deuteronomy. 31 and 6. Read Go ahead. Oh, you got it now? Go on, stand up and read it. <laughs> Be strong and of good courage. Stop. Say it again. Be strong and of good courage. Let me tell you how you get good news. Don't sit down. Look at your neighbor. Look at somebody and say what she just said. Say it. Be strong and of good courage. And be of good courage. Let me tell you the rest of that. Read it. It says what? Fear not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, you got to be strong, but you can't be scared. You better yeah, not. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> nor be afraid of them. For 
for the Lord thy God. He is that. Do it. Go with thee. And he will not fail thee. So wait. Be good. Be good. Have courage. Be strong. Don't be scared. <coughs> but watch this. Don't trip about them. Amen. Why are you concerned about them when you got the king of them? <coughs> That's with you. Hallelujah. Now this word right here is good. Sit down. Sit down right there. Sit down. Watch this. This is good news because I've read it in four different areas. That he said be strong, be courageous in other words, and don't be scared. Yeah. And the truth be told in this game, right? I ain't mean they was not here today, but that's all right. And the truth be told. And I just want to see by the raising your hand if you can really be honest and you ain't scared. Have you ever been scared of a situation you had to go through? Been scared of some stuff, right? Thank you, God. But Deborah, here's the difference. When I didn't know who God was, I was scared. But now that I know he can see me, I'm going to shout my way through it. Yeah. Now, this ain't for everybody. There's one already. I was just going to say, does anybody know how to shout through it? I want to see who I'm talking to real quick. I just want to see who I'm talking to real quick. If anybody want to shout through it, what am I saying? I've learned that what I'm going through ain't going to last. Always. I've learned that this trouble that I have to endure today, it ain't gonna last always. So I might as well shout now. Because the writer said, don't shout. Don't wait until the battle is over. But does anybody want to shout now? See, in other words, I would give God my advancement of thank you. Y'all in front of me to go. Tell somebody that's 
Good news. Be not dismayed. Yeah. For I am your God. Yes. Yes. Tell somebody that's yes. good. Yes, it is. I will strengthen thee. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to help you. Yeah. 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 Now I'm going to stop right there. Who needs some help? Oh, oh, One more time. Who need the help of God right now? I need God's help. But I'm sitting here like I got it all together. See, when you see folk that need God's help, you can't hold them down. You can't sit them down. You ain't gonna make them shut up. Yeah. And the people in yeah. the they can care less what you want.
So now that I'm in the same place with Jesus, yeah. I can act like Jesus. Yeah. 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 Jesus, what's happening, man? Yeah. Yeah. We got power, bro. Yeah. Yeah. But Jesus tell me something else. Mm. You know, Daddy ain't gonna let nothing happen to us. No. No. This is why I got a clothes right here. Ah. It's all right. When I said, well, how is that? He said, because he still got another hand. Mm. Yeah. Ah. So when the enemy comes, ah. he got another hand to set a stand. Oh, well, this. Now he got that other hand. He can do a few things. He can come after me, but he got a mean left. Yeah.
whatever comes my way. Because I got a savior. That look beyond all of my thoughts. And so I need show you something about the spirit of God. The spirit of God is housed like this. Y'all said I was real. This is what the spirit does. The spirit is housed in man. That's right. And he has taken residency inside of man. Now, now, when people say you ain't right and always giving you bad news, it's because you ain't opened the door of what's in you. If the spirit is housed in you, it shouldn't be thirsty for outside. Uh -huh. What do you mean, preacher? I'm lost. Okay, let me bring you back to it. Whatever's inside needs to come. Uh -huh. So you can't sit under this, this word. You can't sit under this word and eat this every Sunday. Okay, that far. Eat it every Sunday. Ooh. Eat it every Sunday. And then soon something happened, you scared. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. true. That's true. Yeah. That's true. See, when you eat something, Come on. eventually it comes.
Y'all hold it in. But the good news is, I didn't give you the spirit of fear. So if I got the spirit of fear, I just want to give y'all 36 seconds to give God a praise because you ain't scared to let it out. So we have to scream more. Come on, scream. Jimmy Chu. 
I need a lot of Jimmy Choo's for that. Here's the thing. When the Holy Ghost begins to fall on you, the good news is, He's falling on you. The problem is, we're moving away from you. No, every time I, I want to be where it is. And see, some of us are too into people. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Come on. God is over here trying to drop it on you. Yeah. Yeah. But you too stuck on people. Yeah. Yeah. And when you're out of position, yeah. you'll never get what God has for yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I'm going, we got a baby. I know we got a baby. That's good news. Yeah. And here it is. When you found out you was about to have a baby, oh. and it was time to see what God had for you, mm -hmm. you had to push. Yeah. Yeah. And some of y'all sitting here don't know how to push. Yeah. And every time he said push, mm -hmm. you pushed. Mm -hmm. And at the end of your pushing, I'm guaranteeing you, you had your right hand somewhere. Hold it up what belongs to you. Yes. I'm going right here. Is there anybody that got a right hand? Yes. You got a right hand. I know I lost a lot of y'all. I lost some of my three or four of y'all. But you got a right hand, right? I need you to take that right hand and say, God, I'm lifted. And I'm going to lift. Going to lift. You, you know something? Why is it that the proper way to shake a hand is with your right hand? There's some significance. Yes, it is. When somebody give you your left hand, you know. As soon as somebody reach their right hand, it's automatic. I look at the cocaine. It's automatic. And it lifts up. When you give your hand to God, it's automatic. That everything you've been looking for, that work is about to happen. I told people this week, you're in your fourth court. You are in the fourth court. You are in the fourth court. Y'all ain't hearing me. The good news is this, when you was in your first quarter, you fell back. You looked at the scoreboard, you was down. Why was you down? Because I didn't have enough money to pay all my bills. I'm down. You got in the second quarter, folks start walking out on you. You wonder what I do. Everybody walked out on me my second quarter. I'm, I'm even getting further down. And this is what I love about halftime. Somebody have a halftime. Halftime, they got to go to a secluded place away from everybody else. And have a conversation, y'all, and pray with me.
When you start managing your time, you don't give your ball to everybody. You can't trust everybody to run for you. At this point, Jeffrey, I got 30 seconds left. And I'm up. So what I do, like every quarterback that's up, they don't try to get another play in. What do they do? They get close to each other. And when they say hi, he's going to his knees. God, I'm praying with you. I ask him, what are you going to do? Thank you, I don't know. God, I'm praying with you. Tell me I don't know. That's good too. And y'all still ain't praying with God. Little church over there, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Good news. Here it is. The good news is, is that you came back. 